Hi, good morning, good day, welcome Björn Vivi, welcome to Real Time Daily Trading Ideas. We have five days a week, five different traders. We will speak about trading ideas, strategies, market screen, and maybe one or two questions from your side. Our goal is quick and smart, so let's have a nice start like every day. And today it's Thursday, 13th of September 2018. Welcome to Admiral Markets. We will start like with every webinar with our risk disclaimer. Forex and CFDs are complex instruments and come with a high risk of losing money rapidly due to leverage. If you are a starter, please start with a demo account and make yourself familiar with long trading, short trading, leverage trading, and your personal risk management. If you like to read the full risk disclaimer, just visit one of our web pages, for example, admiralmarkets.com, and you will find everything written down there in full details. On our webpage, of course, you can find everything else, what you may be like to read, for example, the differences between retail clients and professional clients. Since August 2018, in the whole European Union, there are different offers for retail clients and professional clients. A retail client can get a maximum leverage for Forex up to 30. Professional clients, if they are legal and apply for that, can still have a high leverage up to 500. A picture or two pictures shows more than 1,000 words. If you trade DAX 30 euro dollar as a retail client, margin requirements would be 24 euro and if you trade it as a professional client no opposite sorry opposite if you trade it as professional client 24 euro would be the margins that was my mistake opposite is correct and as a retail client 600 euro so again professional client 24 euro professional client uh, now it's my mix. Again, read a client to, uh, 600 euro and a professional client 24 euro same for euro dollar Retail client 3,333 euro, professional client 200 euro. Check it out and don't mix it like I did it because it's really, really important for your trading style. And if you like to get a professional client status, here you see some differences. A retail client will get an unlimited protection up uh, against negative balances. Professional clients will get our negative balance protection policy, a protection up to 50,000 British pounds, what is around about 70,000 euro. One time a mistake and then you have to correct it. Sorry for that again, but I hope my correction is understandable. This is me. My name is Jens. My English made in Germany. So I'm the German guy from Admiral Markets. My English made in Germany. My quality today maybe not, but I corrected it. Sorry again for that. And I'm not the main speaker. The main speaker is the day trader of today. This is our scheme on Monday, Jay's Day. On Tuesday, it's Paul's Day. On Wednesday, it's Giancarlo's Day. Like today, on Thursday, it's Marco's Day. On Friday, it's Dirk's Day. Our leading day traders live every business day to the same time. And of course, if you like to trade for and CFDs, you will get many benefits only with us. For example, DAX 30 or also Euro Dollar, tuple spread of just 0 0.8 points or pips without additional commission. Check all the details out on admiralmarkets.com. There we will find also something about our contact details. You can call us, you can send us email or visit YouTube or Facebook. Many, many ways all leading to Admiral Markets. And of course, they are linked on admiralmarkets.com. Thanks for listening to me. And now it's time for Marcus. Hi, Marcus. Good morning. Good day. What's your view to the markets today? Oh, wonderful. Good morning. And thank you very much for the great introduction, uh, Jens. I hope you will have a great day as well. And a warm welcome to our attendees and participants at this webinar. It's a great pleasure for me that I may lead you through this webinar. So I screen my screen. I will transfer it here. Now you will see it. Yes, great. So success is not a form. It's a it's success is not a fantasy. It's a formula, ladies and gentlemen. And this is my trading approach we're talking about. And this is the view about the markets we talked about. And we talk about this webinar. You know the probabilities about the trend continuation is more likely than a trend break is at around 65 percent. And if we have the view about the upper trend, the bigger trend, the probabilities are rising up to around about 27 percent this is the view about the markets and uh, i i place you burn it in your brain burn it in your mind and a clear have a clear view at the markets at the charts to recognize every trend so and if you have if you found a trend now to get inside you have five rules you need a valid trend in the signal trend you want to trade you need a valid trend, you need a correction, at least 38%. You need a young trend, not uh, not too major, maximum the fourth trend arm, one movement, one correction is one trend arm. Then waiting, if you are in the correction, the accumulation phase, it's called like that, waiting for the rebound, you can use Heikin Ashi, balance candle there, 
it's really easy and your target is uh, placed on Fibonacci retracements we will see it in the charts so this is our that's our rules and now repeat it to the last la trading days to uh, from last Thursday to today this is the result from the last week profit factor 4.29 I've got Jesus Christ I'm impressed so many trades are very successful. This is what the EA makes. You will find it on my homepage. You will see if you have interested, I'm convinced you will find me on my homepage. So let's uh, see the results. First in Aussie Canadian dollar, we prepared last week, if you remember, if you remember. So you can see this was the first trade here. Inside we have an uptrend. Here was the balance candle inside and Fibonacci from green to green. Bam, that was a risk, that was a success, that was a winner. Then the second trade was a loser, you can see it, a little bit loser. We tried it a third, uh, a second time, but the market decides to go down and we stopped out here. Then British pound, uh, Japanese yen, you can see it. Here was a short because we had a 100% uh 100% uh, correction so we uh, we went from black to black fibonacci 100 here was this at this point was the uh, target bam next hit then a little bit uh, in euro against us dollar here this was a little bit uh, i guess it was in 5 minute not so important but the next one was new zealand dollar uh, against Japanese yen, that was a great stuff. Here you can see we have the trend. Here was the balance candle. We went inside in the market. Bam, target here. Great. So that's the result from the last trading days. Now we want to talk about what we can prepare for this week, for the next coming days. So um, you can see it on the lower row, we have a lot of trades we can make in the coming next days. We will start with British pound, Japanese yen. We want to make a short. You can see in the daily chart, we have a great downtrend. We are in the correction. And as long, let me paint for you, as long as we doesn't leave this point here to the lower, to the upper side, a trend continuation is more likely than a trend break. So that's the reason why we have a look in the hourly chart for some down uh, short trades. Not yet, because you see we have a little bit sideways phase actually. So we need a stable and valid short trend to make a short trend in direction of the upper of the bigger time frame. Next one, Aussie Canadian dollar, you can see long. So maybe you will ask by yourself, it's a short trade. Why you want to go long? Look, it's a divergence. Look at this one. It's one of the most important uh, technical uh, signals. You can see the great lower lows and the small lower lows, and it's a divergence. No lower lows here in the RSI. This is one of the greatest technical, strongest, most important signals that we will see the next correction to the upper side. That's the reason why we have to look in the hourly chart for a long trade not yet just now in the short but if we will see here a long trend then we can make it in the long side on the long side so put it on your watch list maybe tomorrow maybe next week we'll see put it on your watch list rc us dollar so maybe you will uh it's interesting uh, you will think uh why is why uh, why is marcus don't talking about s p and dax and so on so my opinion is I want to make money. That's my view about the market. I have a list here, you can see it on the left side. There is my list of the most important Forex markets and markets uh, in, in, uh, basically. So, but I watch this list and I, I'm, I'm looking for that trades I can make money. I don't earn money if I make an analysis about S&P 500 if I don't have a chance there to make trades. That's my view on the market. RCUS dollar, same long. Why? You can see it. 
we have a very far move here to the lower side and you can see a little bit divergence so bottom here in the RSI that will mean that will mean that we see a lot of space here to the last correction zone that we can use this situation in the daily in a daily chart we can use for our hourly chart to see and you can see it here long and now we we need a correction and our rules 38 person at least then a correction and then a um, balance candle in Heikinashi and then we can make a trade I guess this is one of the closest trade we can make in the next few hours maybe tomorrow latest on Monday I guess New Zealand Swiss fraud daily long same look at this one divergence you can see it here connected to the lower lows and here bottom little bit you can see it little bit divergence and this is this means that we have a lot of space for a correction this is the situation we want to we want to use in the hourly chart and here, oh great look at this one here we see an, a trend a valid trend now we need uh, maybe this is a balance candle but we want to wait of the next one that's the better uh, better appearance of the balance candle here this one we need here on this point and then we can make a trade so New Zealand Swiss Fraud is a great interesting trade for the next hours New Zealand Japanese yen long as well why bottom the trade the currency found a bottom here on this with a divergence great great opportunity to have a lot of space to the upper side and we want to look at in an hourly chart oh great you you remember we did one a successful trade here but we have a next chance about the next correction 38 percent or use maybe this expert advisor you want to use. You can try it uh, for 40 days. You can uh, get a trial version of uh, from me. Just uh, go on my homepage, English. You can see it in English on my homepage. You can switch it from German to, German to English. So New Zealand, Japanese yen, next great chance. New Zealand, US dollar, same as well, same as your, uh, the, other, the other one. You can see, look, connected here the lower lows but no lower low here in the RSI great divergence and a great opportunity to make long trades as a corrective trades so and now you, you can see we have a long trend here we need our correction at least 38 percent rules hold on your rules every time believe me it's better for your money Euro Japanese yen. Uh, Euro Japanese yen. Sorry, not on my watch list. Forget to close. That's over. Euro US dollar in uh, still short. Why? Oh, you, I guess you can see it is a short trend. And now we are more placed to the lower side the trend continuation is always more likely than a trend break as long as it doesn't leave this point three here to the lower side a trend continuation is more likely than a trend break that's the reason we want to look in the hourly chart not yet you can see there's a long trade and we need a, a long trend but we need a switch to the short trends then we can make it and as long as we doesn't have a short trend a, an expert advisor doesn't give you a deal. Swiss uh, fraud, Japanese yen, long. Why? It's a special situation. You can see it. We have this movement. We have a little bit correction. And now we are on the way to continue this trend. This is a great stuff, a great situation for a long trade. So now we are in the move. You have to wait you have to wait until the price came back come back to this point two here or a little bit deeper and then you can uh, speculate on the trend continuation great opportunity i guess in swiss fraud japanese yen euro canadian dollar short you can see 
the price is facing downwards. Uh, we have a great uh, opportunity to continue the trend to the lower side. Now we want to look on the uh, at this one on the hourly chart to make a short. And now we need a trend. First, we need a trend. No trend, no trade. That's one of the most important rules. No trend, no trade. That's really important, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, wait or use the expert advisor if you want. Euro Swiss Fraud, short. You can see we have a short trend in the daily chart. If you want to make trades in the hourly chart, the daily chart is your higher time frame, your leading trend. The smart money is placed here. So we are a little bit in a correction, and as long as we doesn't leave the correction zone here to the lower side, a trend continuation is more likely than a trend break. That's the reason why we want to look in the hourly chart to a short trade. Not yet, it's a little bit too early, but maybe next few hours, we get a close, a really close above that point to 1.126673. Then we have, if we have a close below this point three, then we have a valid trend, and then the next correction, there will, uh, there will um, have, there we, there we will have our rules, and then we can make the short trend. You see, trading must not be so difficult. You need a rule. You need rules. You need a statistically uh, proven um, approach. And the rest, the rest, ladies and gentlemen, the rest is placed in your mind. It's a mind challenge. The real challenge is taking place in your mind. Discipline, holding rules, discipline, holding rules. That's more important than every other things. New Zealand Canadian dollar, long. Why? It's a divergence. Look at this one. A lower low and a low, a higher low in the RSI. That means if we will find here a bottom, we can make a short, a long trade as a corrective trade in the hourly chart. Maybe you will, we will find here a bottom. You can see. Just wait, wait, wait. This one next correction, and then we can make our trade. Not yet, but first we need absolutely need a valid trend no trend no trade you must not be the first one in the market never it doesn't work in the real life if you are the first one never doesn't work ask your girlfriend it's not a good thing to be the first one in the market as well have patience wait for a trend and last but not least US dollar Japanese yen daily that's really easy you can see this you can see this uh, uptrend here on the side and you can see now we are a little bit more to the upper side that's the reason why we want to have a look at the hourly chart not yet we cause why look at this we had a trend break here now actually we are trendless wait for the first rule you need a valid trend maybe the market will make this one correction then we need the next movement with a close above this then you have a valid trend and then you can use the next correction and then you can use and then you can make your trend so that's my Absolutely proposal for the next days. I guess we have one or two minutes. Let's look at the um, at the S and P 500. Where is it? Where is my S and P 500? Jesus Christ, he's gone. Not here. Okay, let's see symbols. Ah, gosh. Where is it? Where is it? Let me see. Here, here we are. Great. So S&P 500, first a look at the daily chart. Let's see. So come on, come to me, baby. Oh, you can see a very major trend. 
one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the fourth, or in my opinion, the fifth of the sixth correction. It's a really major trend. Oh, it's that not mine situation. But that's that's a real that's one of the rules, one of the tenets in the market. As long, my dears, as long as we doesn't have a close below this point three. A trend continuation is more likely than a trend break. And believe me, I saw in my past trends with 16 arms. A very seldom case, but it's possible. And the US traders are a little bit crazy, I think. But as long as it doesn't have a close below this, a trend continuation is more likely than a trend break. And in the hourly chart, no, oh yeah, come on, not really. So you can see that's why that's the reason why I don't have uh, the S and P 500 on my list because I don't have a chance to make a good trade here and this one. So that's all. Thanks for your uh, attention. Thanks for being that you spend the time, your lifetime with me. I wish you a great rest of the day. And with these words, I I wish you a lot of success. And with this in our mind, back to Jens. Thanks to Marcos. If you'd like to see or watch that again, a couple of hours later, it will be available on our YouTube channel. Just visit youtube.com slash AdmirMarketsFX and you can find it there. And tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow at the same time, real-time day trader days, five days a week, five different traders. So hope to see you all again tomorrow. Greetings from Berlin office. Thanks. Bye-bye and all the time. Good trades.